let's see how that goes. Taking some time while I'm driving to talk about a subject that is very common and a lot of people contact us to get an answer because the dog is biting or jumping on them and they have contacted another trainer and the other trainer didn't work out for them and I always ask what did the other trainer recommend you doing and they said oh um, we should distract the dog while he's jumping or biting or clawing or whatever he's doing with the toy or with the food now no wonder things don't get better is it just think like a dog please think like a dog very simple and say okay the behavior is this and that and the consequence is this so in other words the dog is jumping or biting whatever misbehavior of interaction he is presenting and it leads to him having the toy or the treat well I'm not surprised because what happens is that the dog will actually understand that the misbehavior is going to produce the reward that's so stupid so please think about it and change your ways change your ways as to where if I don't bite if I don't jump then it'll produce something I like a reward right at the moment when the behavior changed from the bad one to the good one there is plenty of videos showing that very thing how to do it especially utilizing the clicker as a marker to identify the correct behavior that is rewarded on our YouTube channel at Saberberg Canine all right I hope that recording works out and it helps you open your eyes and think about how the dog perceives the world all right next time